Four pair twisted pair communications cables snake through buildings you work or live in every day. They run between floors and from room to room. There are performance standards and more importantly safety codes that regulate the manufacture of these cables. It's in everyone's best interest that if a fire breaks out in a building, these communications cables don't act like a fuse and carry fire all over the building. The sad truth is, there are cable manufacturers that are manufacturing communications cable that does not pass fire in life safety building codes. However, they are labeling this cable with all the markings you might expect to find on properly constructed cables. This is a Steiner tunnel at an underwriter's laboratory's facility. This tunnel allows for control fire tests of communications cables. In the first test, a Category 5E control cable that is known to be properly constructed is loaded into the tunnel. Fire is applied to one end of the cable and technicians measure how far the fire travels down the cable. With this control cable, the fire travels one and a half feet within two and a half minutes. Then it doesn't travel any further down the cable even though the fire continues hitting the end of the cable for 20 minutes. The smoke from this burn only reaches an optical density of 0.22 and there is less smoke as time goes on. Both the fire and smoke tests are well within the National Fire Protection Association requirements. Now let's look at a counterfeit Category 5E cable that claims to be compliant with all safety codes. This cable was easily purchased on the open market. However, it is missing the required UL holographic label. The fire is started on one end of the cable and begins moving rapidly. In less than six minutes, the fire has spread down the full length of the tunnel. So the test is stopped. The counterfeit cable has failed spectacularly. In less than one minute, the optical density of the smoke is off the charts. When the test is finished, there is little to nothing left of the counterfeit non-compliant cable. Much of it has burnt completely to ash. The same company sells a Category 6 cable. The Steiner Tunnel test results were nearly identical with the flame propagating the full length of the tunnel and lots of smoke filling the tunnel. So the difference between properly manufactured cables that have been UL tested and certified versus counterfeit cables utilizing non-compliant cable designs and materials is clear. Installing this counterfeit cable potentially opens up building owners and contractors to liability issues as it can lead to unacceptable levels of fire propagation through a building over the communications cabling system. Make sure you are buying reliable communications cable and not a fuse. Go to the CCCA's website to find out how you can be sure you are buying compliant cables.